Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last four videos, we have discussed the first section product of sums of this lesson identities. Today, we are going to learn the next section square of a sum. Suppose a square is given, the side is 5 cm. What is its area? The area of a square is side into side or side square. Therefore, area of this square is 5 into 5 or 5 square. That is, the area of this square is 25 square centimeters. Suppose another square is given and the side is 7 centimeters. What is its area? 7 into 7 or 7 square. That is, the area of this square is 49 square centimeters. Now, suppose another square is given and the side is A. What is its area? A into A or A square. Now, let us extend the length of the side by B. Let us extend this side also by B. Now, let us make a large square by drawing these sides like this. Now, we have got a large square. How can we find the area of this large square? We have to find the side. We have to find the side of the large square. This length is A and this length is B. Therefore, the total length is A plus B. And this is also A plus B. Therefore, the area of the large square is A plus B into A plus B or A plus B all square. We can find the area of this large square in another way also. Let us extend these sides of the first square like this. Now the large square is divided into four parts. We can find the area of each part and add it together to get the area of the large square. We know the area of this square is A square. This is a rectangle. This is B. And since this is A, this is also A. Therefore, area of this rectangle is A into B or AB. Now, let us look at this rectangle. This side is A. Therefore, this side is also equal to A. And this side is B. Therefore, area of this rectangle is A into B or AB. Now, look at this square. This side is B. And this side is also B. Therefore, the area of this square is B square. When we add the areas of these four parts, we will get the area of the large square. Therefore, area of the large square equal to A square plus AB plus AB plus B square. AB plus AB is 2 times AB. Therefore, this can be written as A square plus 2AB plus B square. This is the area of the large square. This is also area of the large square. And there is only one large square. That means these two are equal. Actually, we have found the area of the large square in two different ways. Therefore, they are same. That means A plus B all square equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. Therefore, we can say the square of a sum of two numbers is sum of the squares of the numbers plus two times the product. Or we can say the square of a sum of two positive numbers is sum of the squares of the two numbers and twice the product. That is a plus b all square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. We can understand this in another way also. To find the square of a sum of two numbers, we have to find the square of the first number plus 2 into first number into second number plus square of the second number. This is the second identity which we have to learn in this lesson. Now we know the square of a product is product of the squares. For example, 2 into 3 all square is equal to 2 square into 3 square. We know 2 into 3 is 6 and 6 square is 36. 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9 and 4 into 9 is also equal to 36. That means 2 into 3 all square is equal to 2 square into 3 square. Now what about 2 plus 3 all square? 2 plus 3 is 5. Therefore, this can be written as 5 square or 25. Now what is 2 square plus 3 square? 
2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. Therefore, 2 square plus 3 square is equal to 13. We can see that these two are not equal. That is, 2 plus 3 all square is not equal to 2 square plus 3 square. Why? We know 2 plus 3 all square is 2 square plus 2 into 2 into 3 plus 3 square. Here, 2 into 2 into 3 is missing. That is why they are not equal. Therefore, we can say the square of a sum is not equal to sum of the squares. So, we can summarize. Square of a product is product of the squares, but square of a sum is not sum of the squares. We can use this identity to find the squares of numbers. For example, suppose we have to find 75 square. 75 can be written as 70 plus 5. Therefore, this can be written as 70 plus 5 all square. And we know to find the square, we have to find the square of the first number that is 70 square. Then 2 into first number into second number or 2 into 70 into 5 plus square of the second number or 5 square. 7 square is 49. Therefore, 70 square is 4900. 2 into 5 is 10. 10 into 70 is 700. 5 square is 25. 4900 plus 700 is 5600. Plus 25 is 5625. Therefore, 75 square is equal to 5625. Let us take another example, 103 square. This can be written as 100 plus 3 all square. And that is equal to 100 square plus 2 into 100 into 3 plus 3 square. There are two zeros in 100. Therefore, there should be four zeros in 100 square. That is 100 square is equal to 10,000. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 into 100 is 600. And 3 square is 9. 10,000 plus 600 plus 9 is 10,609. That is 103 all square is equal to 10,609. Let us take another example. 10 and half all square. This can be written as 10 plus half all square. And that is equal to 10 square plus 2 into 10 into half plus half square. 10 square is 100, 2 into half is 1, 1 into 10 is 10, 1 by 2 all square is 1 square by 2 square or 1 by 4, 100 plus 10 is 110 plus 1 by 4 is 110 and 1 by 4. Another problem, 1 into 3 equal to 3 and that is equal to 2 square minus 1, 2 into 4 equal to 8 and that is equal to 3 square minus 1. 3 into 5 equal to 15 and that is equal to 4 square minus 1. Write down the next two lines. In the sequence of natural numbers, if we take the product of two alternate numbers, would it be 1 less than the square of the skipped number? This is 1 into 3 and that is equal to 2 square minus 1. This is 2 into 4 and that is equal to 3 square minus 1. This is 3 into 5 and that is equal to 4 square minus 1. And the next line will be 4 into 6 and that is equal to 24 and that will be 5 square minus 1. And after that 5 into 7 that is equal to 35 and that is equal to 6 square minus 1. Now we have to check whether the product of two alternate numbers is 1 less than the square of the middle number. Let x be a number, then the next number is x plus 1 and after that it is x plus 2. So let us take x, x plus 1 and x plus 2 as three consecutive numbers. x and x plus 2 are the alternate numbers. Let us find the product of them x into x plus 2. x into x is x square, x into 2 is 2x. Therefore, x into x plus 2 is x square plus 2x. Now let us take the skipped number or the middle number. Let us subtract 1 from the square of it. That is x plus 1 all square minus 1. We know x plus 1 all square is x square plus 2x plus 1. And subtract 1 from it. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we get this is equal to x square plus 2x. These two are equal. That means x into x plus 2 equal to x plus 1 all square minus 1. This is the product of two alternate numbers. 
and this is the skipped number. So we can say in the sequence of natural numbers the product of two alternate numbers is 1 less than the square of the skipped number. Next problem. Look at this pattern. 3 equal to 2 square minus 1 square. 5 equal to 3 square minus 2 square. 7 equal to 4 square minus 3 square. Can we write all odd numbers greater than 1 as the difference of the squares of two consecutive natural numbers? All these are odd numbers and they are written as the difference of two squares. We have to check whether we can write all the odd numbers like this. Let x be a number. Then what is x plus 1 all square? That is x square plus 2x plus 1. Let us take x square on the other side. Then we can write this as x plus 1 all square minus x square equal to 2x plus 1. Or we can say 2x plus 1 equal to x plus 1 all square minus x square. x is a number. 2x means 2 into x. When we multiply number by 2, we get an even number. 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 3 is 6, etc. Now, if you add 1 to an even number, we get an odd number. 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 1 is 5, 6 plus 1 is 7. When we give x equal to 1, we get 2 plus 1 equal to 3. That means this is always an odd number greater than 1. So we can say when x equal to 1, 2, 3, etc., we get all odd numbers greater than 1. And that is equal to x plus 1 all square minus x square. Or all odd numbers greater than 1 can be expressed as the difference of two perfect squares. Or we can say all odd numbers greater than 1 can be written as the difference of the squares of two consecutive natural numbers. Another problem. Prove that the squares of all odd numbers are again odd numbers. We know any odd number greater than 1 is of the form 2x plus 1. 1 square is 1, an odd number. Now let us find the square of 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1 all square is equal to 2x all square plus 2 into 2x into 1 plus 1 square. The square of 2x is 4x square. And 2 into 2x into 1 is 4x and 1 square is 1. So this can be written as 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Now x is a number therefore x square is another number. 4x square means 4 into a number. 4 into any number is a multiple of 4. Therefore 4x square is a multiple of 4. Similarly 4x is also a multiple of 4. Therefore, 4x square plus 4x is another multiple of 4. That means, up to this is a multiple of 4. And we know every multiple of 4 is an even number. Whenever we add 1 to an even number, we get an odd number. Therefore, 4x square plus 4x plus 1 is an odd number. That means, 2x plus 1 all square is an odd number. That means the square of all odd numbers greater than 1 is an odd number. And we have already seen that 1 square is 1. Therefore, we can say the square of all odd numbers are again odd numbers. Now, let us use this idea to do some more problems. Next problem. Prove that the remainder when the square of an odd number divided by 4 is 1. We know all odd numbers greater than 1 can be written as 2x plus 1 and we know 2x plus 1 all square equal to 4x square plus 4x plus 1 and we have already seen that 4x square plus 4x is a multiple of 4 that means up to this is a multiple of 4 when we add 1 to a multiple of 4 that number leaves a remainder 1 on division by 4 therefore 4x square plus 4x plus 1 leaves a remainder 1 on division by 4. That means 2x plus 1 all square leaves a remainder 1 when divided by 4. That means the square of all odd numbers greater than 1 leaves a remainder 1 on division by 4. And we know 1 square is 1 
and when we divide 1 by 4 that 1 itself is the remainder that means the square of any odd number divided by 4 gives remainder 1 another problem Prove that the remainder when the square of an odd number divided by 8 is 1. We know 1 is the first odd number and 1 square is 1. When we divide 1 by 8, that 1 itself is the remainder. Now, all other odd numbers is of the form 2x plus 1. And we have seen that 2x plus 1 all square is equal to 4x square plus 4x plus 1. Now, 4x square means 4x into x. And 4x means 4x into 1. Therefore, we can take 4x as a common factor. And taking 4x outside, we can write this as 4x into x plus 1. Plus this one. Now, if you multiply, you will get the same answer. 4x into x is 4x square. 4x into 1 is 4x. Now, when x is an even number, x plus 1 is the next number. Therefore, it is an odd number. If x is an odd number, then x plus 1 is the next number, so it is an even number. Anyway, when we take x and x plus 1, one of them is an even number and the other is an odd number. And we know when we multiply an even number and odd number, the result is an even number or the result is a multiple of 2. Therefore, we can say x into x plus 1 is a multiple of 2. Now, if you multiply a multiple of 2 by 4, we get a multiple of 8. That means 4 into x into x plus 1 is a multiple of 8. That means this is a multiple of 8. When we add 1 to a multiple of 8, that number leaves a remainder 1 on division by 8. That means 4x into x plus 1 plus 1 leaves a remainder 1 on division by 8. That means 2x plus 1 all square leaves a remainder 1 on division by 8. We have already seen that 1 square leaves a remainder 1 on division by 8. So we can say the square of any odd number leaves a remainder 1 on division by 8. Today, we have done some problems using the identity a plus b all square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, there are some homeworks. Compute the squares of these numbers. First one 52, second one 105, third one 20 and a half, fourth one 10.2. We will discuss the remaining problems in the next video. Till then, bye.